right, guys, uh, looks like the batteries finally came in. I ended up going with, uh, what's that, Roy Pow? Um, I did a quick Google search, and uh, apparently these are assembled in the States. The cells are probably from China, but it uh, doesn't say anything on it about uh, coming out of China. It says UKCA. Uh, don't think much on the box. But, uh, like I said, the website's in uh, the U.S., so... Anyway, let's take a look at it. The story behind these is before I ordered them, I was looking at the um, what type of cells were inside, and I was just going by. Okay, it's six amp hour, so they use the big, thick, uh, the big uh, six amp hour cells, which I was looking for. But on their um, Amazon website, it says um, it says four four S two P. So I'm going with the 18650s in the in LiPo 4 form. So I figured I would just uh, use that if I had to. I could um, basically re-nickel it to, uh, was it 4, 4S uh, 8P? They give me 3.6 volts at uh, 26 or 24 amp hour. Um, but, surprise, surprise, I took, uh, took one apart off, off, to, off camera. And uh, I'm going to show you what I found. So there's what it looks like. Pretty, it's got some weight to it. You know, there's some steel cans in there. Uh, you could, this is nice soft plastic, so you literally could drop this on its corner and uh, wouldn't damage the cells inside. Um, there you go. So that's basically what it looks like. Let's uh, dig into one and uh, show you what I found. All right, so to get into this pack, um, you don't have to worry about uh, if you're going to dig into the corners. I used a trizzle and basically just tapped it into the corners about that far and just twisted it just to pop it open. Um, if you get it open properly, it'll be nice clean cut or snap or break or whatever. So you could glue it back together if you wanted to, which I'm going to. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the connectors on the inside. They're loose, as you can see. Um, it, they do have a lock on them, so they won't fall out. But over time, when you get, you know, like rust and all kinds of crap on that tin, it's, uh, it's going to lose connection. So that kind of sucks. I didn't like that. I'd rather see that with, and soldered if it's in the inside. Uh, there was lots of this stuff on the inside, all around the battery case itself, which actually is good because if you were to drop it, this case will act as a protector to protect the cells from getting dinged or dented. Um, so I ended up digging all that out, and um, I didn't have much luck getting this out. Like it's in a move like that, but you can't, you can't lift it out. I um, even tried something non-metallic to pry on the sides. I wasn't sure. At the time, I thought it was 2P, so I didn't want to damage the, um, the cells. So I used a paintbrush or a paint stir, and I kept breaking it. I just cannot get it out. So I cut it. I cut the uh, wrap. I mean, I'm going to have to nickel, re-nickel it anyway, so I figured I'd open it up. And this is what I found. So their, their ad was um, it's a little bit incorrect, but I got what I wanted. There are six amp hour cells, and it looks like they have a custom printed um, cell holder in there as well. So we're going to try and hopefully we can just somehow look this out and have a look at the BMS. There's some kind of white goop around the BMS. I don't know if that's to help transfer the heat or what. But uh, the only way you're going to get this out is if you cut this and uh, lift the cells out. Which we're going to try. Yeah, it's easier that way. It's moving. Well, this, the other thing is uh, some of this black goop that's uh, inside the battery isn't dried. And uh, it makes a hell of a mess. So that'll have to be cleaned up. It is water soluble though. I mean, I got most of it off my hands with water, so... Ugh. Oh, brutal. 
So there it is. Well, the BMS is like super, super small. I can't imagine you can drop, uh, pull too many amps through. Oh, it's like black goop is everywhere. Uh, see, I don't know if that's. It's almost as if the um, the three D printed uh, uh, cell holder is is deteriorated. It's actually melted. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let me uh, clean some of this black goop off of it, and then we'll uh, continue. Yeah, I'd probably use gloves. Like this stuff does come off with water, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so there's your BMS, not uh, huge, when we get it out we can uh, check the specs on it. I do like the um, the leads going onto the batteries, they're nice thick leads. Even the <laughs> even that piece there is uh, two way taped, so let's uh, start cutting this apart. Because um, like I said, I'm going to be re-tabbing it anyway. And um, redoing it, but I want to save the BMS and the leads, so we're going to cut these off flush with the um, solder. There we go. And they're pre-labeled, so it'll probably be easier to uh, reassemble. Or well, when I build another pack, I can uh, just go by the labeling. There's a label on this too. It'll probably give us the amp amps this thing can draw or handle. Um, doesn't say much of anything. Oh, it does have a thermal probe. I don't know if that's for overheating or for the um, when it uh, gets too cold, it shuts it shuts the um, the batteries down. But it's there. I'm sticking it out without damage. Hopefully, there we go. So we'll save that. Okay, the battery, I mean the um, the BMS is totally isolated from the battery, so it's not even powered up anymore. Let's pull this off. Some writing on the back, might get the specs on it from there. It says QC. doesn't give much it just says 4s9 oh, it's a 9 amp um, I'm gonna go with a net a 9 amp uh, BMS it does look like 9 amp which <laughs> looks pretty small so this wouldn't draw too many amps obviously but uh, that's about it guys it's all ready to go like I said it's uh, it just comes right off And there's the specs on these uh, on this each cell, which reads LiPo 4, 32700, 600, 6000 mAh at 3.2 volt. So that's exactly what I wanted. Um, it would be better if a um, this um, cell holder wasn't half deteriorated, but I mean it's still good. I'm going to have to take all the nickel off without uh, damaging the bottom of the cells because you can rip a hole in the cell if you're not careful. And uh, turn them all the same way, re nickel them, and then that's it. They won't need a balance lead anymore. They're just basically, I'm going to clean this out and um, we'll put these back in here with some foam around it, glue together, and put two leads coming out RC leads with uh, connectors. And it'll be a single cell. Um, 
for me to do it that way, uh, for me to replace these here, uh, if they're shipped even from the states, it by the time it makes here one cell what makes it here one cell is gonna be 150 bucks versus 60 bucks, and this one has better amp hours than this one, so I would be better off just shopping around and just keep buying these and uh, replacing uh, you know each one of these as they go along. So that's what I'm doing. Just so you know, it's just basically what it looks like. It's no brainer, really. I mean, I, I, I mean, it was Bolt's advertising when they said it was 4S2P, so I, I, I thought it was uh, 13. I thought there were smaller cells, but uh, I'm actually glad that's what it was. Besides the issue with the wiring on the inside, I'm kind of happy with these. So I got a long way to go. I figured I'd show you that, guys. Take it easy.